Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video we are going to take a quick look at the game played at the ongoing 2022 World Rapid Chess Championship. On the white side is Russian chess grandmaster Daniel Dubov and his opponent is Indian chess grandmaster Nihal Sarin. Dubov opened up with d4 to which Sarin answered with d5. c4, queen's gambit is on the board and black is accepting the gambited pawn. Knight f3, knight f6 e3, e6, after which white is winning back the sacrificed pawn, in return black is undermining white center. All this is a standard stuff seen many times. Here of course white can stop black's queenside expansion with a4, or play d takes c5, bishop b3, these are all popular alternatives. In the game we have queen e2, allowing b5, Bishop goes back to d3, c takes d4 and a4. Usually in here white is recapturing with the pawn but in the game we have a4 and this is something which uh, in uh, Dubov's repertoire. Earlier this year he had tested this line against Alexander Rustemov with success. Turns out that white is gambiting so oh, black can play d takes e3 and then B takes a4, but in the game we have B takes a4 straight away. By the way, earlier in that game against Rustemov, Rustemov proceeded with D takes e3. In this game we have B takes a4. Rook takes a4, bishop e7, rook takes d4, queen b6, knight bd2, knight c6, and rook h4. Transferring the rook to the age file where it feels really aggressive and now in case black castles kingside this rook can play an important role in the attack. Black castled kingside and now the bishop is occupying the long diagonal putting further pressure. g6 there comes the knight, knight g5. So far so good but in here Sarin panicked and made a huge blunder knight d5. Better was blocking these dark squared bishops diagonal. After which white can play f4 and the fight goes on, of course with better chances for white, but in the game we have knight d5 and with his next move white forced the resignation. The winning move for white is queen h5, black resigned. Right now there is a direct mating threat and if you accept the queen sacrifice then bishop h7 checkmate is coming. Earlier we have seen many sacrifices like this. For example this one somewhat reminds me of Vera Menchik's queen sacrifice against Sonia Graf Stevenson. That game I've already covered on my channel, the link I will pin in the comment section. In the end the chess puzzle for you, the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.